oh didn't see you there thank you for joining me in this video this one is going to be a video about making projects in new year i personally absolutely hate videos and blog posts that a lot of people make at the end of the year or at the start of a new year which are basically here are the top 10 programming languages that you must learn in this year or rather in the new year or here are top 10 libraries that you must master in the new year or here are the top 10 things that you must do to be a better developer in the new year they're very pushy and <sighs> Honestly, they induce a tremendous amount of anxiety to anyone who's reading the blog posts or watching those videos, and I absolutely hate them. So this isn't one of those videos. This is a video for me, just as much as it is a video for you. And it is basically a sort of a list of projects that I want to do for myself in 2024, because I want to expand my knowledge. I want to get better in being a developer and doing my job. And I want to practice some new tech and I want to get better in working with some old tech and this is basically my way of doing it. So I want to try and do at least one uh, new project per month uh, next year. So 12 new projects in total, 12 new mini projects in total. They probably won't have the same scope and they probably won't have the same quality, but they don't need to. Like I said, they are there for me to learn and to develop my own skills. And of course, if I do end up making any of them, and I sure hope to do a lot of them, and if I do end up doing them, uh, I will share them with you here to help you on your own journey of becoming a better developer. So without additional <laughs> further ado, I would like to talk to you about my list of 12 projects that I want to build in 2024. The first one is a real-time chat application. Last time I built a chat application, I was fresh out of college, so like more than 10 years ago. A lot of things have changed since then and a chat application is a good way to get a grip on some new tech that you want to learn or to get better in old tech, like I said. The plan is to build a real-time chat application using React and something like Socket.io to learn and refresh my knowledge on WebSockets and real-time communication. We can implement features like user authentication, chat rooms, of course, real message real-time message updates and stuff like that. And of course, I mean, handling multiple users simultaneously is always a good thing to know and to practice. So definitely a project that I want to do. And I forgot to add, these are not in any sort of, I mean, they are in some order, but they're not in any particular order. So they're not in order of relevance to me or in order of how I intend to build them because I didn't make up my mind about it. So just an FYI, I guess. The second is an e-commerce store. And I've built this type of project multiple times, but for this one, I, I want to concentrate on the payment page specifically, or I mean on the checkout part of the payment page with uh, different payment integrations such as Stripe, uh, PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay, stuff like that. Maybe I won't build a full e-commerce store, but maybe like a full checkout integration of a store or for a store. I could include features like product listing, search functionality, user reviews, uh, order management, stuff like that. But handling payments is a world of its own and as far as web development goes. So I want to do a mini project that covers it specifically. Music player. I already have a tutorial on how to build a radio app in React here on the channel. So I don't want to make a copy of that, but I want to do something music related. And uh, for this, I want to use Spotify's API since I've never use Spotify's API. And as I've heard, and as, as I've seen, it's a very interesting API that has a lot of functionalities and a lot of interesting things that you could do with Spotify. I don't need to necessarily limit myself to just searching tracks or searching artists. There's a lot of things that can be done with uh, creating custom playlists or themed playlists or searching through audiobooks or comparing audiobooks, getting personalized recommendations, stuff like that. So sort of, 
have like a companion Spotify app or something like that. I think that would be very interesting to build. Recipe app, once again, a project that I sort of did already, but I made a very simplistic meal planning app using Spoonacular API and I had a lot of fun doing it. This time I want to use more of the API's functionalities and make it really useful for someone who wants to track or plan their meals. So this is probably a bit of a wild one, but I'm thinking about combining it with another project that I did here for the channel, which is voice navigation in React. So hear me out. I want to tell the app what I ate and I wanted to calculate my calories and to save them in my daily planner and to show me my daily progress, my macros and some other useful stuff. Typing all of the ingredients before a meal or after a meal is super tedious. If you've ever done it, you I, th I think you can sympathize. And I think it would be fun and useful to make something to basically skip all of that. Next one is the expense tracker. And this one has been on my mind for a while now. It's basically a charting paradise or a charting nightmare, depending how you look at it. I personally really like integrating charts into different projects, into different things. And there are a couple of libraries that I didn't work with that I do want to try out and I think this project would be perfect for that. Top of my list is definitely D3 which I have used in the past but I barely scratched the surface. It's a very versatile library that I know will be useful for future projects as well so definitely want to try it out or to you know go deep with it. Basically the idea is to build an expense tracker to manage personal finances, to visualize expenses, spending trends and a bunch of other things depending on the scope. Fitness tracker is the next one, but it's actually more like an exercise planner. And with this one, I want to sort of kill two birds with one stone. I want to test out a couple of different fitness APIs, but I also want to test out a couple of different drag and drop libraries. I want to make an exercise planning app where you can select a type of exercise you want to do. I mean, you sort of like, a, let's say you want to do back exercise, you type in back and or, you know, click on a filter or whatever, and you get a bunch of back exercises and you can then drag and drop your exercises to your planner and then you can switch them around to basically fit your fit your plan or to fit your training and then you could potentially maybe save it or export it or print it out to actually use it when you go and you know exercise the next one is a movie recommendation app i don't really want to make a movie app but i want to sort of make an algorithm or personalized recommendation algorithm where you basically have movies that you want watched movies that you rated and movies that fit some other categories that you want. Maybe it's an action movie. Maybe the main character is Keanu Reeves and you really want to watch it. Basically have uh, several options that you can select and it compares them with your previous ratings, maybe on IMDb or something like that. And basically gives you a perfect movie or TV show to watch. So the main thing would be the algorithm that is going to basically give you movie recommendations and not the movie app itself. I probably wouldn't mess around too much with the movies themselves, but I would try to make something that gives you a perfect movie to watch. The next one is just for funsies. When I was growing up, my favorite quiz TV show was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And it was a very popular TV show here in Serbia. I mean quiz show and I loved watching it and for a while now I really wanted to make something with Trivia DB API and this is basically what I want to do so I want to make a who wants to be a millionaire clone I think it would be super fun to make it I did look around through what I can use alongside the Trivia DB API they have a list of all the like helper or uh, lifeline options that they use to help the, the players and there are some different versions of the quiz which have different lifelines and not really sure how I would implement some of them such as phone a friend which 
I, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Or ask the audience where you would ask the audience and they would answer and then you would get like a bar chart where you would see how they replied, how they answered the question. Maybe even more interesting part would be making some sort of an online high score system that would uh, be publicly accessible. That's always interesting. So maybe, maybe I'm going to try that out as well. Number nine is a code editor and uh, definitely, probably, possibly <laughs> not uh, a full-fledged code editor, but maybe something like CodePen super limited version where you would have like three text boxes like on CodePen for HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you would maybe have a fourth one, which would be, which would combine the first three and basically give you the output of what's, what's going to happen. Maybe add some cool features like syntax highlighting or code formatting and of course code execution. Honestly, <laughs> not sure if the scope of this one is too much or not. I know stuff that I could use to, to make my life easier, but I've never done anything like this before. Like I never did, uh, I never made a code editor or anything similar to it. So I think this would be a pretty challenging one, but I guess that is the part of the, you know, the whole process, the whole challenge to basically dive into the unknown and sort of conquer unknown territories. So definitely something I want to try out. Next one is the image gallery. And I want to make Google Photos clone and the the interesting thing that I want to do with it is the facial recognition or object recognition that Google Photos has because right now there are some very cool APIs that do this sort of thing and I really want to play around with it to 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 see what I can make with facial recognition and to see if, it, if I can make it work really like Google Photos. Actually image upload would also be very interesting to make so maybe I want to do both facial recognition and image upload to Firebase or something like that. So that, there's definitely those two things are definitely something that I want to play around with. Number 11 is a 3D type of project. So I'm not sure right now what I want to do with it, but there's something about 3D projects that has always intrigued me. And I had my eye on working with 3JS for quite some time. So I definitely want to do something with 3JS. When my brother and I were kids, we bought this book which was basically a book of tutorials for Autodesk's uh, 3D Studio and I remember us modeling like a simple shark model and simple human face model and like a simple museum building thing model and other you know even more <laughs> simple things than that and uh, we loved doing it like we it was very difficult to it was very difficult to follow tutorials from a book but we loved doing it. Later in life I played around with Blender a bit it. and recently I played around a little bit with Spline which is also a cool tool. It's always been one of those things that I want to dive more into but for some reason I've never found enough time to actually do it or enough motivation to actually do it so I want to do it. It could be something as simple as adding some you know 3D elements on my website to sort of enhance the experience or perhaps I'll challenge myself to build some sort of a simulation so I think that would be pretty interesting to make and the last one has absolutely nothing to do with react and web development and that is making a video game i used to make simple games in unity and uh, c sharp years ago and it was a super fun hobby and i would like to try and get back into it at least on some level the last game i made and published on google's play store was back in 2018 or 2019 not sure it's something that i would really like to get back into but this time i don't think i'm gonna make a mobile version because adding stuff to a mobile store is really painful to say the least originally i even intended for this channel to cover both web development and game development because it was sort of my reason to get back into game development which i'm not sure if if it was ever realistic but it might be cool to showcase to you guys if I do make something and I really hope that I will make something because video games have been a hobby of mine for the past 20 plus years. We did have like some consoles like Nintendo and uh, like like a ripoff bootleg Nintendo <laughs> and Game Boys, bootleg Game Boys. But uh, our first video games on uh, PC on Windows were Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, I believe, Civilization 2, classics like 
FIFA 2000 and <laughs> NBA 2000. Of course, Age of Empires, the first one, that was crazy. But yeah, so video games have been a hobby of mine for the past 20 plus years. And being a programmer and being able to actually make those video games has been super fascinating to me. Like being able to actually, you know, make all of that work uh, and also sharing those games with my friends and colleagues who would test them i had this friend who would always break everything that i sent him so i might as well try and see if we can make some video games and that is the end of the list of projects i would like to make in 2024 you might have noticed that there is no mention of ai i do want to make something with ai but i don't want to put it into a project just for the sake of putting it into a project I might end up using AI for some of these projects, but I don't want to try and make it the main thing because it might not be suitable to make it the main thing. And if I do end up making it the main thing, I want to have a good reason for it being that way. There's also no mention of any crypto stuff. And that is because for me, at least crypto is definitely not that interesting right now. A lot of projects, a lot of the current blockchain technology revolves around making and selling different uh, coins tokens nfts and stuff like that which are super sketchy in a lot of cases i'm really hoping that there's some other applications of the technology instead of just making mass producing selling and you know manipulating tokens and uh, uh, cryptocurrency markets and stuff like that and if it does i do want to make something with it but um, yeah, I'm, I'm currently not seeing it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this one, but uh, if I am, I'm sure somebody will point it out to me eventually. So these are the projects that I want to do for myself. This video is, like I said, for me as well as it is for you. And hopefully they also inspire you to build something on your own. As I mentioned, if it did inspire you, some of the projects from this list are basically my already existing projects that I want to build upon or to expand them and if that sounds interesting to you maybe you can check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel which might be interesting to you if you do thank you very much for that if you like this type of content you might as well subscribe it will help me a lot in trying to build this channel so every subscribe every comment that you post every like everything helps everything means a lot and I do appreciate it very much in the end I would like to end this video by wishing you all a happy new year may it be filled with successful and finished projects with fulfilled opportunities and conquered unknown lands my name is alex and i will see you in the next one